Each year we welcome thousands of nonprofits to the Nonprofit Technology Conference. This year the 12 NTC will be held in San Francisco on April 3rd through the 5th. Learn more at n10.org forward slash NTC. So, um, we're just going to wait a couple seconds for our rock star John Hayden to come over. <laughs> So John is someone that I personally have worked with uh, for a very long time. He's um, a, a regular columnist on my Social Fish blog. Um, his column is called uh, is an implementation column, so it's all about social media implementation for nonprofits. Um, so I figure we can talk a little bit about that later. But first, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everybody what you do and what you're about and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Um, so what do I do? I work with nonprofits. I help them with marketing and all that stuff. You can learn more at johnhayden.com. We can get to the important stuff now. <laughs> so you've, um, we both work with social media. So tell us about uh, some recent trends. There's obviously, you know, the hot new thing is Pinterest and uh, all the Facebook changes. Are there things um, that you're seeing nonprofits kind of struggling with just recently with all of these changes? Well, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I feel like, uh, well, I don't really know too much about Pinterest, to be honest with you. I do know that a lot of nonprofits, they're using it in very different ways. I mean, Pinterest is like an image site. So if you have pictures, and pictures say a thousand words. So if you, you know, every single cause out there should be able to get some kind of pictures to represent their, what they're doing. Uh, what I'm seeing in my, like, little world is people struggling with Facebook you know, with a new timeline, like, what do we do with this timeline thing? That's a, that's a very, very common thing, and I'm, I'm hearing it all the time. Um, but Facebook is actually becoming more like Pinterest, where it's very visually oriented now, so photographs are really going to make things happen on Facebook. Uh, and the other thing that I see is that because organizations are confused about this timeline, like a story, like storytelling, they think they're supposed to tell their story, the story of the organization, but it's actually the story of the cause. So there's one organization I love, GLAD, you know GLAD probably, right? So they actually tell the story of um, the story of gay, kind of the history, dates of gay rights and, and so forth on their page. And you can go back and look at, you know, when Ellen DeGeneres came out, when the New York Times used gay for the first time, that kind of thing. So. Yeah, that's super cool, and I think it's actually really important to remember that social media in general is so visual, and it's about people, and it's about history, and it's about all of these things that, that make us human. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, the, it's, it's, thank you. <laughs> so it's very exciting, and of course, we do a lot of work with social media strategy, and for us, it's always about, you know, where your constituents are, where your stakeholders are, where your members are. In my case, I work with associations. Um, and that's how you figure out whether you need to be on some of these social spaces or not. That's basically the bottom line, right? So I think we're just about out of time. So uh, the next two sessions, you have a choice of the data, uh, data visualization. Thanks, John.